My hands are shaking. Shaking not with fear, but with, but with anger. This, this is a Brahmanical force. This Brahmanical force can only be use your anger, channel your anger. Because the only thing that can end this Brahmanical force is militant resistance standing up to them. They would, they, they left the space, they are letting us do this thing because we militantly resisted. When they did Jay Sri Ram, we raised slogans. Last time we did a Modi documentary, what happened? They, we didn't do anything, we didn't raise slogans, we, we sat there. They ended up doing Jay Sri Ram slogans, they disrupted our events, did not let us do anything. But here, we were, we were able to continue with our reading circles because we militantly resisted. And we'll continue this militant resistance against this fascism. Uh, to add on to Comrade's point, I would also like to point out that how many of us are there? Um, six, seven? Yeah. Uh, and how many of them were there? Um, eight, eight. I, but my, uh, what I would like to say in the end is that what today's oh. events have shown us when a group of around 20 to 30 uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, what today's events have shown us when 20 to 30 Sanghis came and tried to disrupt us, they probably have like a WhatsApp group of a reading circle that is a stooge of ABAP, like that is an extension of ABAP, mm. that Abhinav Bharat mm. thing. And uh, they think that they are very militant, they are, they are very like Hindu, they are, they'll uh, make this campus their campus, they'll have their events here. Um, what to, uh, but what could they do when they came here? They could do bhajans and uh, they could uh, say Jai Shri Ram, which like by the way, six of us, six of us, seven of us, uh, could like out shout them at. Uh, but like more than that, what today's events have shown us is the importance of getting organized. Mm. Um, as uh, revolutionary forces on this campus, as political forces on this campus, as forces... Lal Salaam everyone, I'm Harshal and I'm the president of the Military Students League, formerly known as Sangharsh, which is a Marxist student organization functioning within OP General Global University. As all of you know, our administration recently updated the Code of Conduct to enact certain unjust and authoritarian laws which can be used to arbitrarily suspend and expel students as per their will and convenience. Furthermore, the parents of all the students were sent an undertaking to be signed, giving their assent to these laws, and if the parents failed to do so, they were clearly told that their ward will be denied entry into the campus. So today, I checked into the campus, and my warden refused to give me the keys to my room, because she saw that my parents had not signed the undertaking. And when I raised objection to this, the chief proctor himself came and spoke to me and assured me that I will be allowed to take the keys and go to my room, even if my parents have not signed the undertaking. When I asked him to give me a written clarification of the same, he explicitly refused to do so and he further went on to say that even though my parents have not signed the undertaking, the consequences of the updated student code of conduct will still very much apply to me. So not only is this extremely uh, unjust and undemocratic, it also, also shows that the consequences of a student uh, raising objections to being coerced into signing an undemocratic policy did indeed make the admin immediately step in and allow the student to have access to it. So imagine if one student standing up to the administration could, uh, could meet in their immediate demands Imagine what all of the students in the university together collectively could achieve. All of us need to understand how undemocratic and authoritarian these new student code of conduct rules are. We need to understand that the student council itself has been very uh, unclear and uncooperative in uh, providing to us clarity regarding what exactly the new codes entail. Furthermore, the clarification with the, which the student uh, council gave, uh, stating clearly that the expulsion is actually interim suspension as per the student code, that itself has not been confirmed in writing by the admin and the letter of undertaking to this day contains the word expulsion and not interim suspension. We also need to understand that interim suspension itself is, a, is something that needs to be challenged. We appeal to all of you to stand in resistance and protest against these unjust laws. We need you to understand that if one student standing up to the admin today could make them meet our immediate demands, 
then imagine what all the students standing together could achieve we need you to recognize your unity and power and stand with us in resisting against these unjust laws long live student unity